Welcome into this weekend's Soccer Predictions Picks and Parlays show. Let's scour the European soccer betting calendar for this weekend and come up with eight different plays from the Premier League, the Bundesliga, La Liga, and Serie A. If you like this info in the video, help me out by giving the video a like, subscribing to the channel, and you can even get more soccer picks by joining the members only section where I share some extra picks each week throughout the week. Now let's get into it, and I will put all the picks into the graphic at the end of a video so you can check that out as well. Let's go to parlay number one. I'm going to do two games in the EPL on Saturday. We've got Brentford and Bournemouth to kick this off. These teams are close, close in the table. Brentford 12th with 13 points, Bournemouth 10th with 15 points. But it's the Cherries that are in some of their best form right now after a 2-1 to one win over Arsenal, a 1-1 one, one draw with Villa, and then a 2-1 to one win even over Man City last week. Now, only Wolves games have seen a higher average goals per game at 4.1 than the 3.9 of Brentford. In all competitions, they've scored in 12 of 13, but they've conceded in 12 of 13, and the both teams to score has gone 11-2, and, and it's also on a 10-0 run. They've also yet to lose a game at home in the EPL. Now, last season, these teams drew 2-2, Brentford won 2-1, and the Beats have scored two goals versus Bournemouth now in three straight games. Bournemouth is flying, but the only game Brentford didn't score this season was away to Liverpool, and that was back in August. This should be a good game. Let's go both teams to score, and then go to Brighton and Manchester City. Now, Man City is no longer the lock to throw into every money line parlay after losing 2-1 to one to Tottenham in the Carabao Cup, 2-1 to one to Bournemouth in the EPL, and then even 4-1 to one getting beat down by Sporting in Portugal in this week's Champions League. It's the first time they've lost three straight since April 2018, and they've never lost four in a row under Pep Guardiola, but that could change this weekend. You always count on them to score a goal, something they always do, but they've conceded now in 12 of 17 games in all competitions this season. Now, Brighton has conceded plenty of goals themselves lately. They've have a, had a 2-2 draw, 3-2 loss, and 2-1 loss in their recent games. They've now given up multiple goals in seven of their past eight. But overall, they have scored themselves in 8 straight and in 12 of 13 matches in all competitions this season. Man City did win 2-1, 4 nothing last year, though, and they are 5-1-0, undefeated in 6 meetings. And they've won 13-15, being 13-1-1 against Brighton over several seasons now. But I'm just not sure that they can fully be trusted to, uh, to uh, expect them to win. So it's hard to buck that trend, though, of them always dominating Brighton. But then the Seagulls, like I said, still haven't lost at home with 9 goals in 5 games scored. Let's, this could be a good opportunity for Brighton to possibly pull an upset at a good price, certainly to at least maybe get on the score sheet. So we will go both teams to score with Brighton and Man City, paired up with both teams to score with Brentford and Bournemouth to get plus 137 odds over at Caesar Sportsbook. Parlay number two. On to Sunday, we'll go to Bundesliga in Germany and La Liga in Spain. Uh, bet on Augsburg and Hoffenheim here. Augsburg have scored in five straight in all competitions. And at home, they've scored now in 20 of 23 going back into last season. Now, they're only 11th in the table, but they have lost just one of four recent league games. And they'll be fresh being off this week while Hoffenheim was away, was playing in the Europa League. In the Europa League, Hoffenheim played out a high-scoring 2-2 draw with Lyon. And they have been decent in that competition at 1-2-1. But domestically in the Bundesliga, they're just 2-2-5. Two, two and five. They're actually now 16th after losing 2 to nothing at home to the newly promoted St. Pauli last week. They're winless away from home, and they've given up a goal in three or four of those games. Now, only three times in 50 Bundesliga games has Hoffenheim kept a clean sheet, going back now over multiple seasons. So let's just bet on Augsburg at home, the rested team, getting at least a goal. Augsburg to score to kick off this parlay. Next up, Stuttgart and Eintracht Frankfurt. Last year, Stuttgart won 2 to one and 3 nothing. There's been three or more goals in five of six, and the both teams to score is eight and one in recent games between them. Now, both were in action this week. Stuttgart in the Champions League, they lost 2 nothing to Atalanta, the second game in a row where they've been shut out. They drew Leverkusen nil-nil last week as well. They have scored in 13 of 16 overall matches this season. Now, Frankfurt in the Europa League beat Slavia Prague 1 0 this week as well. They trounced Bochum 7 2 last weekend with six different scores and a brace from Hugo Inketsky. And in all competitions this season, they're 10, 3, and 2, only failing to score once, and that was way back in August. Overall, the both teams to score bet has gone 11 and 4. Only two Bundesliga games have not cashed that prop for them this season as well. In the Bundesliga, Stuttgart is 7 and 2 to over 2.5 totals. Their games average 3.7 goals per game, while Frankfurt's also an over team, going 6 and 3 to the over, and their games average even more goals at 4.1. This looks like a good both teams to score bet as well. And to just get this basically right at even money, let's throw in one more very, very simple selection over in Spain. 
go to Real Sociedad and Barcelona. Sociedad's games have been very tight this season. They've scored and conceded only 10 goals in the 12 games so far. far. Now, that's poor offensively, but only Atletico Madrid with seven goals and Mallorca with nine have conceded and given, have given up fewer goals on the year. The Sociedad sit mid-pack right now in 11th, and they'll look to slow down the juggernaut that is Barcelona. Barca's first, they're 11-0-1, and they've outscored their opponents by a whopping 40-11 to margin. But they come in off of a beatdown of Red Star in the Champions League, where they won 5-2. They had four different scores, a brace from Lewandowski. It's just one of many recent impressive wins for Barca. In all competitions, they've won in seven straight, scored three or more goals in all seven, and outscored their opponents in that seven-game winning streak 29-5. You want to further illustrate how great their offense have been. They've scored 5-3, 4-4, 5-3, and 5 goals in those games. Now, the way Barca is playing right now, they should likely get this win. It's probably a great bet to throw in either by itself or as a parlay just to win the money line. They probably will score at least a couple goals. Like we've said, they've been scoring tons, but it is a short week. It is on the road. Last year, they won this fixture 1-0 and 2-0, and they have scored versus Sociedad now in 20 straight meetings. I just want something simple here. I will ask Barcelona to score. I'm not against them winning this game at all the way they've, they've been playing. But if we go Barca to score, Stuttgart, Frankfurt, both teams to score, and Augsburg to score, we get minus 107 odds. And I'll do one more parlay. We've got more Sunday action here. It's a big one in the Premier League between Chelsea and Arsenal. That's Stanford Bridge. They do 2-2 last year. But then Arsenal smashed the Blues 5-0 in the next meeting, and that was the most recent where they won 5 to nothing. The Gunners haven't failed to score versus Chelsea in five games, but they have failed to score this season in each of their past two games, losing one nothing in Newcastle last weekend and then one nothing away to Inter Milan in the Champions League on Wednesday. They're 2-1-3 and three in all competitions right now, despite playing a day earlier than Chelsea this week, who played in the Conference League on Thursday. It's going to be likely Chelsea who comes in here more the more rested team. The Blues rotated their squad like they usually do in the Conference League to face Armenia's fourth-place team in NOAA, and they still ran rampant, winning 8 to nothing. They had six different scores and a brace each from Ja Felix and Christopher Incuno. In 17 games in all competitions, Chelsea has scored in 15 of them. They haven't failed to score in an EPL game since week one versus Man City. This guy looks like it could be a, a good game. Maybe we get goals from both. Uh, Chelsea at home certainly has a good uh, price if you wanted an upset win. I just want Chelsea to score, get on the score sheet for the sake of this parlay. So Chelsea over 0 0.5 goals. Next Mallorca and Atletico Madrid. Last year, Atleti won one nothing in both games, and in fact, the score has been one to nothing in four of five recent meetings. And the other two one nothing scores have actually been Mallorca wins, both being wins at home on the island. Now, only once in twelve meetings have their games seen more than three goals as well. Atleti comes off comes in off an impressive road win in Paris over PSG Wednesday, winning two to one. In La Liga, their third, they have just one loss. Mallorca is eighth. They're five, three, and four. These are the top two defensive teams giving up only seven goals. Atleti, nine, Mallorca. They're also one first and second in XGA as well. Naturally, they've both been clear under teams this season, both being eight and four to under 2.5 totals, while Atleti's games average 2.1 goals per game and Mallorca's 1.6, that being the second fewest. Mallorca is always tough on the island, and at home they are five and one to the under, and their games average the fewest when they're playing at home at just 1.2 goals per game. In their last 16 home games in all competitions, and if you go back into last season, they've given up more than a single goal only three times, and then they've only scored more than one goal only twice. This should be a tight game. Maybe another one nothing result, maybe a 1-1 draw, under 2.5, certainly an option, or in this parlay, under 3.5 for me. And we'll throw in one more game here, going to Italy, Monza and Lazio. 18th Monza hosts the high-flying 5th place Lazio, who have scored the 3rd most goals in Serie A, 24 in 11 games. Monza has just won Serie has just won just one Serie A game all year, none in their past 3, and they have only one clean sheet in 11. Meanwhile, Lazio got a late 92nd minute winner from Pedro on Thursday in the Europa League to beat Porto 2-1 in all competitions. It's their 5th straight win. They scored multiple goals in 12 of 15 in all matches this season. And they've only been shut out once. That was away to Juventus. It was two draws last year, 1-1 and 2-2. Lazio won both meet meetings the season prior when Monza returned to the league as well. So they've not lost to them in those four games. Lazio high-flying, scoring lots of goals. Monza not in good form. Lazio should win. Lazio should certainly score. We'll go Lazio to score. Paired it up with under 3.5 with Mallorca and Atleti. And Chelsea to score. 
to come in at minus 124 odds. Those will be my three parlays. That wraps up this video. Check out the picks at the end of the video and a graphic if you want to see those. Give this video a like on your way out. Let me know what you're betting this weekend, where you're watching from, or anything else you want to share down there in the comments. And good luck.